Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, November 6, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in college baskets. We won here last night in college baskets and we'll look to do it again tonight. Got that coming up and a lot more. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. Real cool way to do this. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. It's as simple as that. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or any other capper on the roster at DocSports.com. Go check it out and get started by clicking on the link below the video. A couple of quick notes from last night. Uh, college basketball, boy, we were a grand total of about four points from a perfect 3-0 sweep last night. We did win here uh, with the uh, UC Riverside Highlanders over Nebraska. This kind of, you know, it's one of those things where we won easily. Obviously, it was like a 34-point cover when Riverside won the game outright as a big underdog. Uh, the problem was is it did win too easily. I mean, I want easy wins, obviously, uh, but we were getting double digits going against an overvalued Nebraska basketball team. I would have loved to see Nebraska win the game by five or six points. We cover the spread, we get the win, uh, because then we would have had more chances to go against Nebraska as an overvalued basketball team. I, I doubt we're going to see that kind of value on the Huskers after what happened last night. I told you last night, man, I like the hiring of Fred Hoiberg, but it's going to take some time. 16 players on that roster and only one had seen action in a Nebraska uniform before for this season. 14 newcomers. It's going to take a while for Nebraska to gel. Unfortunately, I think we're one, uh, we had the one and done chance of getting value. Obviously, we'll handicap their games every night. Maybe Folks won't catch on yet, but uh, we'll let you know. Uh, but boy, it could have been a little bit better. We could have had a Husker straight up win and a cover for us. Uh, and, and then we would have definitely had value going against the Huskers for a couple more games. But we'll see how it turns out. And we'll see what the odds makers do uh, with Nebraska. But a nice win here last night. Uh, again, I did not win overall last night over at DocSports.com. Ended up a half a point away from a win in the NBA. Still on a 51-33 and 33 NBA winning run. And I do have a play for Wednesday's card, and it's available at 1 p.m. Eastern over at DocSports.com. I'd like to go to 52 and 33 with our NBA run. I've also got NHL. Actually, I don't have NHL. What am I saying? We cashed on win on Tuesday uh, with the Vegas Golden Knights, a nice five-unit play in the NHL. But there's only two games on Wednesday. I don't like either game, and uh, so we're going to make a take a rare pass in the NHL. But when we come back on. Thursday, in all likelihood with the NHL, uh, we will take a 63% winning season and a 41-22 and 22 October, November run into Thursday's card with us. So, of course, we'll let you know on Thursday's video if we're back in action on the ice in the NHL. Here's what's going on for Wednesday. I mentioned I've got the NBA. I've also got college basketball, two plays, two underdogs, both undervalued as far as I'm concerned. And uh, they're both going to be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, or any time after that, over at Doc Sports. Com. And also, uh, just a quick note, we are going to be involved, of course, in football this weekend. The plays will be posted 6 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. As it is right now, you know about our NFL run, 76 and 51, a couple of pushes over our last 127 plus plays in the NFL. And I've got a play earmarked for the NFL. We've already handicapped. We've just got to wait and see if the lines cooperate between now and 6 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. That could very well be an eight-star play uh, in the NFL. Uh, at very least, it's going to be a seven-star because I know the numbers are not going to move too far uh, from where it is right now. But we'll let you know on Thursday's video if that's going to be an eight-star or a seven-star. In either case, a big play. And again, we're on that 76-51 and 51 run in the NFL. And we'll have college football uh, thrown in also on uh, on Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern. More on that on Thursday's video. Let's get to the free pick for Wednesday. We'd like to go to 2-0 with our free picks in college basketball after Riverside easily got the win last night. Tonight, we're going to play a favorite after last night cashing with a double-digit underdog. We're going to lay 22 and a half with the Arizona Wildcats over Northern Arizona. You remember last year, the Wildcats had a lot of turmoil off the court. Sean Miller survived. His team went 17-15 and 15 straight up, but most importantly, he is back for another season. 
season. And talent-wise, the Wildcats are going to be better than they were last year. They'll also be able to focus, I think, a little bit more on the task at hand this season. Uh, they're loaded at the guard position. They're loaded up front. Going to be too much for Northern Arizona. And the Lumberjacks do return all five starters from last year, but they got a brand new coach. And I'm not sure how much of a positive is that all five starters are back from a team that won just 10 of 31 games. So there's some work to do. They got to find a cohesiveness. They've got to find, obviously, a, a, a situation where they can gel under the new coaching staff. And uh, that'll take a little bit of time. We think that Arizona should be laying about 26 and a half. Right now, they're 22 and a half. We like the Arizona Wildcats minus the points. Our free pick for Wednesday. Let's go to 2 and 0 with our free picks. And again, don't forget about what's going on over at DocSports.com on Wednesday. We look to extend our NBA run to 52 and 33 with the play that'll be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern. We look to go 2 and 0 with underdogs and college baskets on Wednesday. You can grab both those plays after 11:30 a.m. Eastern time. 99 and 73 is our current run in the month of November for college basketball. Going back the last several seasons. Hey, that'll do it for us for today. Again, the Arizona Wildcats minus the points, the free pick in college baskets on Wednesday. I'm not involved with the MAC football game. If you like these videos, uh, click on the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Tune in to Mad Dog Radio, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday night. I'll be on uh, my weekly segment with uh, Patrick Maher over at Mad Dog Radio Sirius XM at 7 p.m. Pacific time on Wednesday night. All right, that'll do it for us. Again, we'll see you on Thursday around 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time. Let's put Wednesday in the win column. Talk to you on Thursday morning.